Hey guys, Chatty Dad one. Well, the uh, whatever it seems like the uh, zombie whole thing is uh, getting freaky. Um, I'd like to thank Joseph Paul who uh, sent me a shout to check this out and since I did I've done some more research on it. He looked at my other video and um, there's a lot of this stuff going on. Um, a lot of it is being called uh, cannibalism. cops just blew him away and tased him and he still gets up but a lot of it is being called cannibalism um, that's a total incident than this one here that happened in Miami where the uh, two homeless guys were supposedly fighting the one was taking chunks out of him and uh, growled the cop shot him But, you know, there's a lot of jokes flying around about it, this and that. And, uh, you know, why are they doing these drills and, and saying this stuff if it's just a big joke? I mean, seriously. Why even bring it up? I mean, of course you're going to laugh and stuff about it. A zombie type of event because you're going to be like come on for real you know but uh what I've discovered is that there's been people preparing for this thing I mean really preparing and one of the big scares about the whole thing I mean, there's a hallucinogen uh, tied to two cannibal attacks behind hugely popular, uh, uh, becoming hugely popular, sorry, K2 Summit. Give me a friggin' break. Give me a break. They're saying this K2 stuff and bath salts called, caused it. Well, the guy... Uh, down in Miami, his talk screen came back negative of everything. And the other ones, I haven't heard of coming back with anything positive either. Except for one guy who uh, they said had smoked some of this pot. This uh, fake pot. I mean, and these stories are hard. They are hard to dig up too. They are burying this stuff deep. They are burying it deep and they are um, laughing at it in the open. This is the uh, story about the the guy that was smoking the fake pot I believe. Uh, yeah. It is. And I'll put links to all these below. Scientists study, um, you know, the reality of a, of a zombie type disease. Personally, I think it's this right here. New fast evolving rabies virus found and spreading I think it could very possibly be this rabies kinda like uh, you know this extreme rabies that causes people to really flip out I mean they wouldn't be walking dead zombies but they would be acting like them Another theory that uh, 
that I have on this whole thing, that's just my personal theory, is that with the level of satanic worship and evil that is going on in this world today, I think that some of these incidents could possibly be possession, um, evil spirit possession. This is the guy that got his face eaten off by the by the guy in Miami, by uh, let's see this guy here, yeah. That was, um, that was him. Showing, uh, you know, the damage. Look at what he did to him. My gosh. But these stories are hard to find. Um, there's a lot. I've gone on to a lot of threads and heard stories and seen stories and links and gone to the links and it's gone. Um, so I do think some of the stuff is being covered up. A lot of it is being called cannibalism. Um, a lot of it's being just blamed on these freaking bath salts and these uh, drugs which I think is bull crap. My, uh, my daggum brother-in-law smoked that K2 stuff, man. And he didn't flip out, do anything weird like that. But yeah, do you hear anything about, um, demonic possession anymore? I don't think so, because they've uh, they, they've kept that under wraps too. But yeah, I I think that um, the stuff is being kept under the radar. kept out of the mainstream called cannibalism and other things joked about you know this and that even though they're preparing for it it's being joked about and you know stuff like that but it's happening I mean you know it's friggin happening all over the place. With as many people, we have two incidences, well, more than two, but only two that I could find right within the last three hours, uh, that I could find that were recorded with a video camera or a phone or something by somebody. How many incidents have gone unreported that we don't know about, that we haven't seen, that is just a missing person? How many? They always say for one criminal caught, there's ten other criminals out there that aren't caught. So this problem is double, tripled, you know, it's uh, exponentially grown. So, you know, maybe no wonder Joint Chief of Staff dude was talking about, uh, <laughs> about what are we going to do and if this stuff happens. Anyway. Thought I'd run this by you. Very bizarre.
and uh, you know wow what a world we live in huh hope everyone's well and uh, y'all have a great day never give up your guns it's the only thing we got left standing between us and total tyranny and takeover from those who are against freedom do what's right always try to do what's right stand up for others stand up for those who can't stand for themselves strengthen one another lift up the hands that hang down and give them strength help and protect one another and do what's right I appreciate every one of you this is Chatty Dad 1 God bless good luck to us all over and out